Hello, sunshine, and welcome to Devalian Plays Witchwood by Alien Trap. You're the old witch of the woods, and it's up to you to craft spells and potions, and sometimes judgments, for the people you meet on your adventure. If you want to see more games from this channel, drop a like and a follow, and tell me in the comments what you want to see me play next. Warning, this video contains strong language. Discretion is advised. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, okay, so I need one more rabbit's foot and a gnome hat. Do I have enough to make a puzzle box? No, I need shells. Uh, so we need to go to the dock. I have exactly one of these. Uh, and then I need the snare. Let's do two just in case. And then... A gnome hat. So I've got my pol. <sighs> Wait, I need a shell for the puzzle box. Rabbit's foot. Uh, I need cobblestone. And what is that? Turkey gizzard. Ugh, digestive tablets. Okay, at least we're <sighs> going to the field anyway. So first to the docks. Again. Then to the fields, then to the mountains. Oh, gotta get this too. Come on, there was like so much cobblestone and now there's not. First victim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the fields. Wait, I need to make the puzzle box first. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else? The hat. Oh, the rabbit's foot. What? Goblin's not. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and the trick. Okay. Uh. Okay, to the fields. And then to the mountains. There's turkeys up here. Oh, hey. And there's also a gnome. Alright, turkeys. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Okay, so I need uh, the rabbit's foot. <laughs> to the mountains. Alright. 
thing is, I don't want to get this guy. No! Damn it! Stupid ass rabbit! Oh wait, I need just a simple trap? Dang it. Thought I needed more intense trap. Both of them? Yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna make this first, and then this, and then go over here. The cell slowly grinds the blade of her cleaver across the new whetstone, sending flecks of rust flying. She plucks a hair from her own chin and tests the keenness of the edge by splitting it in half. Oh ho, not bad at all. Go on, take this old stone and throw it in the trash bin. Take it. Do, do. We're almost done, my friend. Pig, pig, sweats. You toss the old brick into the effigy's ravenous maw, and it cracks into dust within moments. With the fi its final meal of bricks, the porcine simulacrum swells to a monstrous proportion. A rattling laugh chills your blood as the old man's spirit looks upon your work. Ah, what a proper beggar's feast this is! I thank you for the kind gesture, but I still don't see how this will bring justice to those wretched swine. Just you wait. I have a to fire up the barbecue first. Okay. Spark is all that's needed now. Okay. Uh, you mean fire? Uh, like a cinder box? There we go. Striking a spark into the pit, you set the tinder alight. You take a step back, watching the orange flames leap high into the air. The porcine effigy blackens as you tend the fire and fuss over the coals. A succulent aroma begins to waft on the wind. The old man licks his translucent lips hungrily. I swear I can almost smell a delicious roast. Ah, oh, if only it were real. Over the sound of the crackling logs, you hear a crowd of footsteps come padding down the road towards the cooking pit. Over here. I knew I smelled something good. It's the others. My friends. You've come back. Hey, it's a ghost! No, wait. Is that... Is that old man McGraw? Say it ain't so, old timer. When you never showed up for the morning headcount, we all feared the worst. It's true. I ended up as pig food. Can you believe that? I worried you would all face the same fate as me. However, did you escape the hog farm? It was the strangest thing. The swine sister started complaining about the weather being too hot. Even though it's pretty chilly, if you ask me. All of a sudden, they bolted out into the woods, squealing all the way, left the gate wide open and everything. When we smelled something delightful in the breeze and couldn't resist, it's been a long time since we had anything other than pig slop. Gosh, that smells so good. Is it barbecue? Where did you get all that? <laughs> Noise. In place of the brick sticks and straw, the porcine effigy was split into a mountain of delectable si sizzling meats. Ham! Sausage! Bacon! It all looks so delicious! What a wonder. It, it, it truly is a feast. Thank you. What did I tell you? Enjoy yourself for a little while longer and be at peace. The starving crowd happily helps themselves to the feast, cheering, laughing, and praising the old ghost's name. You see something twinkle amongst the cooling coals of the cooking pit. Warm to the touch, you pick up a piece of greasy gristle from the soot. 
On closer inspection, it appears to be three separate chunks. One fat piece, one log piece, and one small piece. The souls of the pigs. Nice. The souls of the stag, hawk, hogs, and wolf rattle inside your pack like angry insects. That's the last of these villains. Now it's time to put an end to this wretched business with the goat. Ooh. Time to go face the final boss. The goat paws the floor with a cloven hoof. You've returned. I was beginning to grow impatient. I would have thought patience is the one thing you're one of your strong suits. But don't fret. I have brought you the last of your souls. Delicious, are they not? You know what to do. Golden feather. Simmering sensations of the hawk wash over you. The nib of a quill scratching on parchment. Coins clinking. The sharp snap of a closing padlock. Greasy, greasy grizzle. Your eyes water at the smell of the hogs, grunting swine and buzzing flies. A cleaver falls onto a wooden block. Blood, bone, meat. Royal crystal. A chill runs through your fingers as the stag sockets in stag sockets into the wall. Okay. Condescending laughter, schemes in the snow, pride, arrogance, hubris, and the wolf fang. Your mind sinks into a shadow in the presence of the wolf. Soft footfalls padding through dried leaves, hot breath, big eyes, sharp teeth. The collected souls vibrate with incandescent intensity. They seem to melt into their recesses, boiling away into tiny pinpricks of starlight. Soon, nothing remains of them except twelve smoldering scorch marks on the stone wall. Ah, well done. That's it. That's that. Our contract is fulfilled. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hang on. What about your end of the deal? You said you would return my memories to me. Did I? Well, perhaps I misspoke. You never really had any to begin with, my dear. What are you talking about? I just don't remember them. I woke up and... And met me? Yes, that sounds about right for your very first memory. What? But you told me that I brought this sleepy maiden to you. That I asked you to save her soul. Oh, what I meant was to say that she came to me. She asked me to save her own soul. But it's so very easy to get confused. You, her, really, what's the difference? Dawning realization creeps over you like ice water. Her life was cut short. Whether by the wolf's fangs, or the hog's cleaver, or under the weight of a dozen other wrongs, I do not know. But in desperation she called out to me, so we struck a deal. I would save her soul in exchange for theirs. One for twelve. But it's not like I could let her go and collect them herself. She needed to stay here, you see, as insurance. So, so what then? You created me, is that it? To collect those souls on her behalf? Well, I should say that she created you. Snipped off a piece of herself to do it. It was all worked out in the contract, of course. And now that contract is fulfilled. Panned out nicely for everyone, I'd say. So if you, by which I mean she, ever need to get out of another bind, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Ta-ta for now. The room fills with a flash of blinding light. You blink and the goat is gone, leaving only a goat-shaped hole in the world. Slowly, you turn to face the sleeping maiden. You feel sluggish and heavy. You take a strained step towards the gilded coffin, 
Your legs snap like dry wigs. Twigs. Jesus. And you crumple to the floor. The cauldron is the last to fall. It resounds with a hollow clang as it bounces off the ground. Wow. You slowly open your eyes and see the vaulted ceiling of the hall. You raise your hand to touch the clear crystal surface of the gilded casket. The glass lid slides open effortlessly and you swing your legs to sit up. The marble floor is smooth and cool under your bare feet. You stoop down to pick up the familiar metal cauldron. Slowly, memories come back to it at its touch. Are you kidding me? Okay, I did not guess that ending. Holy crap. All right, everybody, that was Witchwood. Uh, what do I say? I was not expecting that ending. I honestly suspect, like, expected it to be, like, our daughter or a girlfriend or something. Uh, and that we had to have, like, a one last battle with a goat or something like that. But... The fact that we were the maiden is incredible to me like and that we weren't even like a person we were just like a, a construct created out of like a piece of her or whatever like that's incredible that that really is incredible I loved this I loved the whole thing I uh, no notes. I mean, other than, like, give me automatic tools. <laughs> I hate switching between tools, but that's with any game, really. Uh, jeez Louise. I, I loved this. I loved this immensely. I, I loved the, I really, honestly, I wish there were more like side quest that didn't have to do with the souls just so like I know that would make the game longer and this game is already I wouldn't say it's pretty long it's it's longer for sure but can you imagine side quests in this like the things that had nothing to do with the souls or just collecting in ingredients and stuff like that I would be in heaven for sure I just I, I loved this so much. This was so good. This was so good. You guys should go play Witchwood. Uh, for if you're... Yeah, just go, go do that thing. <laughs> go do the thing. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me as I played Witchwood by Alien Trap. The next episode will be out shortly. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. Also, don't forget to check out the link to the completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. Let's keep the comments chill so no hate or spoilers, as I'm not above removing those comments of the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and I'll see you next time.